I want to talk to mother. I want to talk to sister. I want to talk to anyone who has a sorry ass male in their family. Whether it be your son, your uncle. I just want to explain. Because what I'm noticing is that people always act like surprised and like shocked. Um, about male behavior, about sorry ass male behavior. That's what I'm talking about. And I'm going to tell you why that, you know, I don't, you know, I keep hearing this. I don't know why my brother, you know, was the only person who didn't get his shit together. I don't know why my son can't get it together. I don't know why. You know, my uncle is this way. I'm going to tell you why. The reason why is because the standard is different for men than it is for girls. The reason why your brother, your uncle, that dude just can't get it together is because as my former... um religious leader said at church one day she said we have a problem in our community and she was like we raise our daughters we give them rules we give them structure you know because we are so worried about them getting pregnant you know we're just so worried about them getting pregnant and becoming you know a statistic but we let our sons do whatever they want there are no rules you know it's just like you know Oh, just let him sow his royal oats. Oh, just let him do. You know, he's, he's going to be, you know, let him be a man, you know, and he's 16. And then when your daughter, who's had all this discipline and all these rules, says, okay, I have all this pressure. I'm going to go to medical school. I have all this pressure. I'm going to get my PhD. I have all this pressure. I'm going to be the best educator in the so-and-so school district, and I'm going to do this. You know, they go and they do all of these these overachiever type things, you know, because they've been kind of conditioned to like, you better do this, you better do this. And then our sons just like, they sleep on our couches till they're 25. They have like three or four kids running around with different women. You know, we, we have to yell at them to get up past 11 a.m. Um, all kind, you know, just sorry. Just sorry. Sorry as hell. And then we act confused. Confused about what? What are you confused for? Like, you created this monster. Like, at 18, you was asking your daughter, where is she going? What is she doing? You know, and, and, he, and he and him, when he turned 18, it was just like, you know, yeah, he's still, he's still here. You know, he loves my cooking. You know, it's, it's cute. It's cute. And then when they get to be 25, 26, you know, you, now, now it, the light bulb finally comes on. Damn. I raised a lazy ass man. That's your fault, mom. That's your fault, auntie. Like these are the these are the situations that you're creating. Like there's no standard. And I'm really sick of women acting crazy and acting shocked and acting like they just can't believe that they have these like despicable males and it's a problem. Because we can't have a community full of mothers and there not being any fathers. Wow, what does that sound like? And there's a reason why it's like that. There's a reason why. That, because the standard for males is just depleted. No, you can't sit on my couch. No, you can't um, hang out with your friends all day. You know, if your sister's doing violin lessons, you need to be learning some shit too. Like, that has to stop. If... You're a mother, and, you know, and I, and I know where it comes from. I'm going to tell y'all what it comes from. Excuse me. Real quick. A lot of it comes from, a lot of mothers have this guilt, especially if you're raising the son by yourself. You have this guilt that, damn, you know, I had to do this by myself. You know, this dude left me. Maybe you made a poor decision in a mate. And you just feel like, you know, I really need to, I don't want to, I don't want to push him too hard, you know, because I feel bad because he didn't have his daddy around. Tears here, right? 
And then because you know what you've had to go through, you know, you've had to buckle down and be this quote unquote strong woman and raise your daughter. You, you, you make her like you, you make her like a mule. You make her like this, 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 this stone hard. Don't depend on no man for nothing, girl. Do this, do this, do this, do this, do this. So she goes and she does whatever she needs to do to be independent, to be work for herself, to be hardcore and to do things for herself. And there's nothing wrong with that to an extent. You know, especially if she goes and she, you know, you know, my daughter, she owns a house and she got her master's degree by 25. That's excellent. That's great. Those are positive things. But it's not great when you have that daughter and then you have this other child that he's two years older than her and he doesn't even have a full-time job and he has kids everywhere. And <laughs> a lot of these men have learned to be picky. I ain't going to work in no fast food place. I ain't going to work here. You know, and they, they've done absolutely, they have absolutely no skills. They literally just played video games and smoked weed and just done nothing productive in their lives. Like, we as as mothers, uh, you have to take you have to take responsibility for that. You have to take responsibility for that, and we have to just we have to be we have to just realize that we effed up. That's where the mothers they they drop their ball, and I've seen it time and time and time and time and time. I mean, I don't know if anybody watched Being Mary Jane, but I've seen that in real life, like. You know, if anyone, if you haven't watched the show, Mary Jane Paul, <clears throat> she's childless. She's in her, I think she's like in her 30s maybe. But she's, she's a successful reporter. And she has this big house. And, you know, she's on TV. And, um, you know, she's educated. And she's, she's, she's this career woman. And she's focused. And she's doing all these excellent things. Right? Unfortunately, she's carrying the burden of her family. Because she was the one that everybody pushed to go take care of her business. And in this case, she actually does have both parents in her home. It pushed her to be, you know, this strong woman and to do all this stuff. And so she went and she educated herself and she became this career woman. And then she has this brother. And her brother lives at home with his baby mama. I don't know how, what kind of woman will come to living with a man who doesn't work. In his parents house I mean it has to be very humbling I don't I just whatever and they have children you know and they live with his his her parents and he like has been in and out of jail I think mean, he used to have a drug problem and the parents let him live there I guess to like get his crap together you know and he's been there for a long ass time you know he's grown over 30 you know has teenage children and he just Sitting up in there with his little parents' house. And whenever somebody needs money, they call Mary Jane. And that's not fair. You know? And and it does kind of create that situation where there's this one breadwinner of the family and they're responsible, responsible for everyone else. That's also a hot mess. But that's not the point I'm making. The point I'm making is we need more men in the role of Mary Jane. And the only way that we're going to get men to be leaders to be career focused, to be leading their families and not necessarily um, being leeches and living off of their mothers and their other family members is if we set that set set that as 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 the expectation. Like the expectations are just too damn low. It's ridiculous, you know? You know, you just oh he's gonna just go sow his royal oats, you know, just let him do what he's gonna do. So you're telling me he's going to go and get a whole bunch of chicks pregnant? When you sold, I mean, when you sold oats, what happened? I mean, I, I'm not, am I tripping? There has to be a standard for behavior. If you don't want your daughter acting like a skank, don't let your son act like a skank. If you want your daughter to be successful and you put her in academic programs and have her playing an instrument and playing sports and doing all these things and she's doing an SAT class, why can't you, why is it okay for your son to sit at home and play video games and smoke weed and hang out with his friends in the middle of the night and he's in high school? I mean, I just don't, it doesn't make sense. You know, it kind of, it's kind of like you're, you, you want to see him excel, but how 
are you going to see him excel if you let him be sorry? If you don't give him a guideline, no, you're not going to, you know, hang out all times of the night and, you know, you need to be doing this, you need to be doing this. I mean, even with the chores, you know, I mean, it's crazy. And I know it's a lot, a lot of ass to do with sexism, but, you know, he should be able to make himself something to eat. He should be able to sweep a floor. He should be able to clean out a tub. He should be able to clean a toilet. He should be able to take out the trash. He should be able to mow a lawn. What good? He, what use is he as a mate? You know, we know he's no use as a mate because he can't do anything. He can't provide anything. He's definitely not any asset to any company because he doesn't want to work. He is lazy, so he doesn't make the, you know, make the provisions to work for himself. He doesn't try to start a business. He just lays on your couch and smokes weed and plays video games all day. Hang out with his friends sorry so that's i mean I, I really want to charge the community with that if you want your son to be successful give him lay down some law make him do something specific i mean hell even some of these hood rap moms will tell you i'm gonna make sure he play football so he can go to like they do something they try to make him do something how do you just let your son not do anything constructive i mean i don't I mean, what do you expect? You shouldn't have any expectations, really. You really shouldn't. You should you should expect him to sit on your couch and to do nothing and to be just a loathsome adult. There are no no expectations. So I, I so that's my charge. Let's hire our expectations for our males. My expectation is not jail. My expectation is not sagging your pants. My expectation is not um subpar grades at school it's just not i'm not going to accept that as the norm for our males i'm just not going to do it i have a male child and i just refuse i'm going to do everything in my power to not have that as the outcome for my child and i really hope and i really um i want to charge that i want to charge that as i want that's my charge Let's start making more suitable males so that they can do what they need to do for our families, for our community. It's ridiculous. We have, it's just, it's just not, things aren't the way they should be. And that's part of why. So I'm going to go to bed now. And I hope that this, um, encourages someone to think a little bit more critically about parenting and about having a having a son having a son because it we're, we're doing we're doing pretty good about our girls we're doing really really good by our girls even though the media might not say so but from what I've seen we are we are the, the men need more structure they do thanks for watching